Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Gordon Frayne and today we are diving into a price prediction for Cardano or ADA. As always, before we jump into the topics of the video today, please make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video below if you enjoy the content. We're dropping multiple videos every single week, so make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date with all of the latest moves in the cryptocurrency space to hit your crypto goals. So today we are diving into Cardano and we're going to be making a price prediction. But as always, we're going to be going through to give a kind of fundamental overview of Cardano and what it is through the lens of these five different pillars. So first, we're going to look at its fundamentals. We're going to talk about the narratives. We're going to look at a little bit of technical analysis, their team, and finally, the tokenomics before we make the price prediction towards the latter half of the video. So make sure that you stay until the end. So first and foremost, what is Sol or what is Cardano, not Solana? Um, basically, I think this, uh, this couple of paragraphs kind of sums it up very nicely on their website, but... Basically, they, they declare Cardano as a groundbreaking proof-of-stake blockchain network being developed into a decentralized application development platform with a multi-asset ledger and verifiable smart contracts. Built with the rigor of high-assurance formal development methods, Cardano aims to achieve the scalability, interoperability, and sustainability needed for real-world applications. Cardano is designed to be the platform of choice for large-scale mission-critical dApps that will underpin the economy of the future. So the big the big kind of buzzwords or keywords that I take away from this is obviously proof of stake blockchain, decentralized applications, verifiable smart contracts, real world applications, um, and the economy of the future. So, you know, what Cardano essentially is, is a layer one blockchain that is designed to be um, scalable, sustainable, and interoperable. Um, and they are... I guess you could kind of consider them a, a blue chip cryptocurrency at this point because they have been so well established over the course of the past seven to eight years. They are one of the blue chip cryptocurrencies currently standing at um, the eighth largest cryptocurrency or the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. If we remove Tether and USDC as stable coins from the equation. Um, so it's up there as a kind of blue chip and has really cemented itself in that upper echelon of blue chip cryptos alongside Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, Solana, and Ripple. So some of the major use cases that they really try to uh, communicate as their value proposition is honing in on um, retail and using blockchain for helping to avoid counterfeit merchandise and counterfeit producting uh, products, so product counterfeiting. Um, they've got a number of different um, products on the Cardano side where they where they basically on the side they'll they'll call out the use case and then they'll say which Cardano product is basically solving that problem. So their Alta scan is basically geared towards helping um, minimize product counterfeiting with uh, with the Cardano blockchain. Uh, agriculture for supply chain for supply chain tracking, uh, government solutions for digital identities. Um, finance solutions for onboarding, uh, know your customer, anti-money laundering, and healthcare as well for counterfeit medicine. And again, making sure that things are traceable, trackable um, on the blockchain. So they're really trying to focus in on these big, big industries like government, finance, healthcare, agriculture. And, you know, there's a lot of different use cases that Cardano could be used for. And I think maybe one of the criticisms of Cardano to date has been not enough real world applications or not enough real world use, but I think they are laying the foundation and they have set up themselves for um, a lot of success and integration with um, a lot of big enterprises as well as governments over the next few years. So which narratives are we talking about when we look at Cardano? Obviously it's a layer one. Uh, they're focused heavily on uh, decentralized applications um, along with real world assets and helping to, you know, map real world assets onto the blockchain as we talked about with product counterfeiting for retail um, and counterfeit medicine, for example. It's considered a blue chip as well as the fact that they really try to hone in on enterprise businesses and large industries. Um, one of the other 
big areas that Cardano puts a focus on is research and development and their IOHK foundation that kind of oversees a lot of the work with Cardano is big on research. So they are probably one of the largest or one of the blockchains that puts the largest amount of emphasis on research and development in this space. So I think a lot of that work is going in on the back end and we are yet to really see the fruits of that labor on the front end, but I'm sure it's going to happen in the next few years. Thinking about technical analysis, um, Cardano has had a, um, you know, it's had its ups and downs, but it, it has been a prominent figure in the market for the past six or seven years. Um, we saw all-time highs for Cardano at the height of the last bull cycle, around $2.90. It was um, achieving about a, a mid-90s, so about $94, $95 billion uh, dollar market cap for the height of that bull cycle when its when its prices were reaching an all-time high of 290 its market cap was sitting around 94 95 billion um of course it entered this bear market as did most of the other digital assets in the space correct throughout the course of all of 2022 and um a good bit of 2023 as well and we eventually saw it bottom out around 23 cents in q4 of 2023 since then obviously we have seen um, some new fresh upwards price discovery with Car Cardano hitting a price of about 62 cents um, as of today. And it's up about 159% from its um, all-time low in Q3 of, sorry, Q4 of 2023. So lots of interesting stuff going on. Obviously, it got hit hard with this bear market, but it has bottomed out. It has turned the tide and we have seen 159% growth and ROI since it bottomed out um, in Q4 of 2023. Moving on to the team, we're not going to spend too much time here, but um, Charles Hoskinson is the founder and CEO of Cardano. He's a very prominent figure in the um, overall blockchain space, thanks to all of the work and efforts that have been done on Cardano. Um, we've obviously spoken about you know the fact that they've built an amazing product and are setting out of you know an amazing foundation for uh, the future of blockchain technology so just a snapshot of their team and then some of the um some of the work that they're doing um input output um hong kong is kind of this overarching foundation that does a lot of the work and overseeing what's happening on cardano um so we're not going to focus too much on their team they're obviously done a fantastic job they've established themselves and cemented themselves as a blue chip uh, blockchain here in the space and um you know i think they they have set a fantastic foundation moving on to the tokenomics um of course what we're looking at today is a about a 62 63 cent cardano as we mentioned we saw all-time highs around two dollars 86 to two dollars 90 at the height of the bull cycle at the end of 2021 the current market cap is about 22 billion which is it's a bit more than a quarter of what it was at its all-time high, but it's still pretty healthy with it sitting at number eight in the overall market cap. Currently, Cardano has a circulating supply of about 35 billion and its maximum supply is about 45 billion. And this is good because it is over 78%, almost 79% vested at this point and the majority or the vast majority of tokens are already in circulation and this matters when it comes to making the price prediction as we'll see in a moment but if we zoom out or look back to cardano at its all-time high which is around the 5th of september it was actually i think on the 1st of september but this was the closest snapshot we could get but at its all-time high, Cardano had that market cap of about 93 billion, as we can see. It was the third largest cryptocurrency. But the interesting thing here is that it also had a circulating circulating supply at that time of 32 million Cardano. And as we can see, we're only at 35 billion Cardano right now. So what that means is, basically, we only have a 10% increase in the amount of Cardano that is now in the circulating supply versus what it was the last time around at the height of the bull market when it was putting in those all-time high prices. So again, just to recap, the market cap at its height was 93 billion. We're currently sitting at 22 billion. 
and the circulating supply at its all-time high was 32 billion and the current circulating supply is just under 35 and a half billion so looking at the tokenomic breakdown on the initial supply um lots of tokens here are basically floated on the retail market for public sale uh 30 percent in reserves cardano foundation with 1.4 percent iohk with 5.5 emerjo with 4.6 this was the initial supply and it got even better from a public perspective because the current distribution is more closer to about 75 percent of circulating supply um is on the on the public market so lots of interesting stuff going on for cardano in terms of tokenomics i think the fact that we only have 10 percent more coins in circulation this time around or at this point in time we're estimating this number to be about 38 billion by the time we get to q4 of 2025 when we anticipate the height of the current bull cycle to kind of max out but it bodes very well because other projects and other coins you will see that they've got 30 40 50 percent more coins in circulation now versus what they did at the all-time high in 2021 so this bodes well for us making the price prediction which we are about to dive into right now so for our bear case scenario we have to make a few assumptions here as always and if you've seen some of the other price predictions on our channel you will know all about this be sure to check out those other videos by the way but we have to plug in some variables and make some assumptions so what we're saying here for a bear case scenario is that the total crypto market cap would reach a height of four trillion dollars again this is the bear case what we're saying is cardano would reach a dominance of about 3.6 percent now it's also worth noting that at its previous all-time high cardano did reach a dominance of 4.4 percent in the crypto market so if we go back up here and look at when cardano was the third largest cryptocurrency with a market cap of 93 billion and hitting that two dollars 91 cents price mark it was sitting at around a 4.4 dominance percentage in terms of its market share and while i'm not the most bullish person on cardano but i do believe that certain projects like solana and ripple and some others have kind of outperformed cardano in the past couple of years i think um what well, what this means is that i'm not sure how i'm not sure if cardano will basically get back to that 4.4 percent dominance so it'll be interesting to see what's possible and what can happen but basically at a 3.6 percent dominance um that would give cardano a 140 billion dollar market cap and dividing that by the 38 billion cardano that we estimate to be in circulation by the end of 2025 that would give us a three dollar 68 uh price for cardano remember it's only 62 cents today so this is about a a five to six x from today's prices for our bear case scenario again plugging in a couple of assumptions here for the variables but what we're saying is that the total crypto market cap could reach six trillion dollars um we're saying that cardano might perform slightly better and get to a three per three point eight percent dominance that would give cardano a 228 billion market cap dividing that by the 38 billion cardano that we estimate to be in circulation by that time gives us exactly a six dollar price for cardano at the height of the next bull cycle for our bear case for our base case sorry finally moving on to the most bullish scenario what we're saying here for the variables is that the total crypto market cap could reach a height of about eight trillion us dollars what we're saying also is that cardano would perform ever so slightly better again reaching a four percent dominance in terms of market share that would give us a 320 billion dollar market cap for the overall market cap of cardano and then finally once again dividing that by the 38 billion cardano that we estimate to be in circulation by q4 of 2025 that gives us an eight dollar 42 cents price for cardano in our bull case price prediction scenario so where do you think the price of cardano is going to go 
It's worth noting that even our base case is pretty much a 10x from today's prices at 62 cents. Um, the bull case is obviously even more, closer to 12, 13, uh, 14 X from today's prices. So still lots of scope and room for growth with Cardano over the next 12 to 18 months as we continue to make moves in this bull market cycle. Um, let us know in the comments below, where do you think Cardano is going in terms of price action for the height of this current bull run? As always, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to drop a thumbs up on it below. It's super helpful for the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. We are on the road to try and hit our first 1000 subscribers on the channel. So I would be so, so grateful if you wanted to subscribe and make sure to hit that bell notification icon so that you can stay up to date with all the latest videos. We are dropping multiple videos every single week and you're going to want to get notified. So make sure to hit that bell notification icon and we will catch you in the next one.